I think that my camera is lopsided, but you'll get over it. Yes. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this um, entire video will be probably kind of slanted. I might fix it, but I might not. So you'll see. But basically today, what we're doing is a minimalist aesthetic makeup look because more aesthetic videos were recommended or not recommended requested so here we are and i'm gonna show you how minimalist bitches get ready by the way i know we're not all the same and i know that not all minimalists get ready like this this is just for fun basically just a minimal amount of makeup because minimalism I just put my Vaseline on. I'm gonna spray my face in my Mario Budesco because we know minimalists are rich. I'm just kidding. Guys, it's all a joke. I'm not, um, what's the word? Uh, profiling. Um, is that the right word? I don't know if profiling is the right word. But I'm not just assuming that every minimalist is like this. Because, duh, everyone's different. But this is basically just doing the minimal amount of makeup. And also, could be considered a middle school makeup routine. <laughs> I mean, it's your decision on how you look at it. So I'm going to start all with my motherfucker uh, eyebrows. Now, if I was a minimalist and I didn't have that much makeup, obviously, I wouldn't even fill in my eyebrows because, like, my boys are pretty thick, you know? I'd probably just like brush them out with my little brush and call it a day and maybe use like an eyebrow gel but that would literally be it because like no minimal like barely anything but if you literally have like no eyebrows and you're really insecure about it then you could fill them in a little not too much though you don't want to overdo it like you want to look very natural that's the point but my eyebrows are pretty good and I don't really need that much if I'm trying to do a very natural look so we're just really gonna brush them out but like I said if you didn't really feel like you needed to put anything on you could just use like a little eyebrow gel and kind of like flick your hairs up I've noticed that this trend of like your eyebrow hairs like sticking up a lot has really been present in the minimalist aesthetic scene. So you can just do that. Now I'm gonna do mascara because you know if you're kind of just like going for a minimal look you don't really want like that much of anything really. So I'm gonna grab my mirror and I'm gonna curl my lashes because I want them to be curly, you know, regardless. I just pulled a whole fucking eyelash out. Oh, poopy. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my better than sex mascara. But let's be real, if I was being minimal, I probably would um, go for a much cheaper option because the tea is, it's not all that serious. <laughs> In fact, I'm almost out of this, but I would just lightly coat it and you don't want to like, do you see that? I'm fucking livid. You don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to do it to where it looks like you don't even have anything on. So you want it to be less is more type of look you know and then you just want to fix up any messes you make like if you're me you're gonna make like 10 fucking million ooh, ooh. sometimes the good old spit is just really worth it um sometimes it's just the best cleaner you know 
ooh, bitch, I look cute or whatever. Now, you could either just leave your chapstick or go ahead and put like a very natural like lip gloss on like the Fenty Gloss Balm here, right? But today, I think I'm just going to keep it even more natural with just the Vaseline, you know? Now, you could stop here, but if you're like me, you like to be a glowy extra bitch even when you're having your minimalist days. So, we're just going to take a very natural highlight color that goes with our skin. I'm just going to go into my Anastasia Glow Kit and get that nice light summer color. But a good one that's also really good is the Urban Decay Illuminating Box. That's what it's called. It's like a little box, obviously. So I'm just going to take my brush and then put that bitch on. As you can see, like so. We love a queen. Ooh, yes, girl. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> and it's very natural, you know? It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look too extra. But it's still really pretty, you know? It adds a little something that wasn't there before that really just is really cute and pretty and since you didn't really put anything on your eyes you could put it like under your brow or just all over your lid to add some more like shine there you know and I think that that really helps and it's really cute and that's pretty much it, but if you're like really insecure about like your acne or whatever, which you shouldn't be because honey queen, everybody has acne, you know, you're not alone. Like everybody gets acne. And honestly, if you hate on people for having acne, you should, you should get your shit together. But that's pretty much it. And since this video is really short, I just want to finish with saying like, don't judge people for the way they look, you know? That, that's just really bothersome and really unneeded. Very irrelevant, you know? But yeah. Now, if you were going to keep this on for a while, you could, of course, spray your face with a setting spray. But I'm going to take this shit off right after this video is finished. So. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like. I'm kidding. Don't do that unless you want to. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next week. I hate myself.